I have the privilege of going to so many events where the culture of so many of the different communities that make up this great city are on display. And if you combine that with one other thing that is a part of the soul of this city, and something that we underestimate and underappreciate, and that is our parks, you have something that is going to be a very potent combination in the years to come. The utmost example of how arts can be publicly accessible. So think vaudeville in Etobicoke, street dancing in North York, Caribbean carnival music in Scarborough, theater, film, dance, music, all kinds of family-friendly programming all over Toronto. And all of it completely free. In the neighborhood we're in is Oak Ridge, and we're in Prairie Drive uh, Park right now. So we are in Rexdale, and the garden is Panorama Community Garden. So we had a summer camp here at Broadacres Park and a summer camp at, in the Maybell Park. In Walter Saunders Park, we're doing a series that um, brings yarn arts to the area, and so we are inviting the community to come and join us. So it's a great opportunity to have those people come and take a look at our beautiful Flemington Park. I'm really excited about all the pieces being put together so that it sounds more like a symphony of color, movement, and sound. I was born and I grew up in Scarborough, so for me, I feel like there wasn't many opportunities to perform like in Scarborough. My son is seven years old, his name is Omar. We are not uh, used to, uh, to go camps in urban areas like this. And uh, for the first time for me to see such a small forest, now he tells everybody, Mama, I, uh, I went to the camp and I'm, I have a camp, I have friends. It brought people from across the city out to the small little park in Scarborough. I found out about Arts in the Park for Bell Canada. I'm a Bell Canada ambassador. I think this is an awesome program. You get families, get communities together. A lot of activities for different kids to do with their families, and it's a different way for them to get different exposure. So I think it's an awesome program. And uh, I heard about the Arts in the Park event through my parents. One day they told me that, hey, you should go outside and meet other new people. There's an interesting event here, it's called Art in the Park. I just been to Toronto a year ago. I don't know much of it, but because of this, I will explore the city better. It felt great to be able to support and to be part of an initiative because we see the output of it actually having a positive impact. You feel like you're part of the, the growth of the city of Toronto. What can bring people together? It is the arts and culture and music that can bring people together. It's a universal language. 2016 was simply the pilot year for Arts in the Parks, but we're thrilled. Going forward, it's a big city. There are a lot of people. They want arts in their parks, so we will be doing more with your help. I just love this park. It's the best event that ever happened to me. And just keep on going. Come back next year!